Hello everyone, my name is Akal and I am a somatic therapist. Uh, I also work with men. I work with men dealing with topics usually related to sexual energy as well as kind of general topics dealing with uh, masculine vitality. So this particular video is about pornography. I don't want to get into the science of it. Uh, that's plenty of that kind of information out there. What I want to give you get into is just what I consider pragmatic uh, I guess pragmatic uh, information that might help you in terms of like if you're trying to pull away from your use of porn, then you might want to like think about these ideas. So, porn, how is that working for you? So, <laughs> just consider this for a moment. If you're masturbating the pornography, you got your eyes on a screen, you ejaculate. You push away from the screen. Do you feel good about what you've done? Do you feel positive? Do you feel uplifted? If your answer is no to these things, then you need to think about your use of pornography. Uh, do you feel guilt or shame? Again, if those are the emotions that are arising, you need to consider your use of pornography. Now, why? Guilt and shame. So. Guilt and shame could be very much connected to our conditioning. So meaning, let's say you have a religious background. So, you know, you discharge, you release, you're looking at porn, and you've got this religious background, and it, this little, like, uh, you know, this angel-devil dynamic sits on your shoulders, and, you know, one says, yeah, 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 that was great, you know, because, you know, you and we, oh, shit, everyone does to <laughs> some degree, at least most men that I know love looking at naked bodies. Nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, it's kind of a, a male sensory bias is our visual. So now the other shoulder, you got this other character who's like, oh, what have you done? Like you shouldn't have come. You shouldn't have released this energy. You've just wasted it. You got nothing out of it, right? So we need to address this dynamic because shame and guilt are pretty much death. Now, what do I mean by that? There was a book, and I highly recommend it to everybody. It's called Power Versus Force. I don't remember the author. However, there's a chart in that book. And in fact, you don't even really need to read the book. There's a chart you can go type in Power Versus Force energy chart, and you'll see this up on Google, is you'll see from 1,000, which is the top of the scale, to zero at the bottom of the scale. Zero is you're dead. <laughs> you have no energy for life. 1,000 on the scale is you've achieved the Tibetan rainbow body, enlightenment. So, the, in, oh, well, by the way, I think it was 200 on the chart was neutral. That means you've accessed the neutral mind or objectivity, the movement towards meditation. So everything below 200 on this chart are kind of what I consider like sort of mundane emotions. So anger, I think is like 160, etc. So now guilt and shame, we're all the way down at the bottom of the chart, just one step up from dead, like at a 20 or a 30. So meaning there's not a lot of energy for life force there. Those of you who walk around carrying guilt or shame, you will know you feel heavy. It's a very real thing. So if you are experiencing these emotions while using pornography, take a break. Go one day without it, two days without it, three days without it, take it one day at a time. And by no means, if you, you know, you're, if your discipline falters, don't shame yourself. Just say, hey, tomorrow's another day. One day at a time. So again, that's, this is really, really basic here because everything that I talk about in all my videos is always about life force. It's always about energy. How can we have more energy, more life force? So this is not even considering ejaculation yet. This is simply the emotions we have attached to the pornography itself. So now the ejaculation, we're gonna look at a, a real basic principle here. Uh, there's a couple different ways you, <laughs> you, can, you can look at this. So uh, if you were like, hey, I like porn, I feel like I have a good relationship with pornography, then well done. Kudos. However, you may want to consider this one factor, which is wherever you put your attention, energy will flow to that. 
So where the attention goes, energy flows. There's the cute little saying. So if you ejaculate, your eyes, which have all this energy connected to it, your eyes are on a screen, they're fixated on a screen, where's that energy going? That's right, to the screen. Does the screen or the pornographer who's responsible for putting the stuff up on the screen, is it deserving of your life force, your energy? That's up to you. You figure that out. But again, if you're interested in cultivating sexual energy, which is what this video is really about, then you're going to want to consider where that energy is going. So now there's another way you can kind of deal this. I think this is kind of the moderate path. So you've got three different things here. Either you're going to go, no more porn, done. Because you can't trust yourself with it. You know you're going to masturbate and you're going to discharge and it's just how it is. Then you got to go cold turkey. Now, if you are on the other side of the spectrum, which is permissive, and you're like, I'm just going to enjoy my porn, you know, shut up a call. <laughs> That's your choice. So now the middle path, what I would consider is, is that you're not going to be totally expressive and bonding with your porn, nor are you going to totally repress it. Now the middle path would be this is just simply considering what I said before. Energy goes to where the energy flows to where the attention is. So I just screwed up that saying, whatever you get it. So the idea here is that let's say you're masturbating, you're looking at the pornography, it's your visual aid. The energy is starting to ramp up. Keep in mind a scale of one to 10. So on the scale of one to 10, one being basically you're flaccid, 10 being, you know, you're, you've ejaculated, you're done. The energy is gone. So what I would recommend is if you're going to use pornography as a visual aid in order to raise up the energy to ramp it up, then what I would say is as you approach ejaculation, you make a choice. The choice is this. I'm going to choose to ejaculate, but I'm going to close my eyes and go into feeling. So if you close your eyes and go into feeling, what ends up happening is, is at the moment of ejaculation of orgasm, you're going to feel some amount of that energy to go to where your attention is, which is within. It's in feeling and sensing. It's not on the visual aid that's in front of you there will still be energy lost, but less energy lost. Now, the other way to do this is to keep in mind, again, that scale of one to 10 and say a seven. Seven's your cutoff point, eight's your cutoff point, because if you go to a nine, you're on that edge of the point of no return. So what you wanna do is you wanna just give yourself a little bit of self-pleasure. You build it up, build it up, enjoy your porn, enjoy your visual aid, then what you do is you stop. You turn off the porn, turn off the visual aid, and you go do some breath work, you meditate, you do yoga. And I recommend everyone, you know, particularly, again, all men, if you're going to be masturbating, um, it doesn't matter if it's porn or not. If you're going to masturbate, you're going to be playing with sexual energy. I always recommend centering afterwards because what it does is it scatters the energy. If you have an ejaculation, it scatters and depletes the energy. If you even just play with yourself, this energy will kind of, you know, get scattered a little bit. So breathing, long, deep breathing, four seconds in, retain four seconds, four seconds out, retain out four seconds. That's a basic pattern. And then you meditate, just go into open surrender and witness all that rises. Again, basic stuff. So now, the other thing to really keep in mind here is those of you who are in your heads right now arguing with me about porn's not a bad thing, it's, it's, it's fine, and the ejaculation's not a bad thing, it's fine. There's lots of research done on this. So orgasm is connected to the reward center of the brain. Uh, there's dopamine involved. There's, anyway, there's lots of biochemistry, prolactin, oxytocin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not going to get into the science because I can sense you guys all glazing over if I go too, too deep into the science stuff. But the one thing I will say is, is that pathways, I guess the pathways that energy follows, um, you know, somebody who shoots up heroin, does cocaine, 
any sort of, actually most drugs will interact with that reward, the brain's reward system. So if you're interested in cultivating sexual energy, you have to cultivate sensitivity. The more you beat down this reward system in the brain, meaning you're ejaculating all the time, you're doing drugs, whatever it is, you're going to desensitize yourself to some extent, meaning you're not going to appreciate sex as much as you typically would. Um, you're not going to appreciate self-pleasure as much as you typically would. So again, sometimes we need to push the reset button. And that reset button really requires, I guess, uh, honest assessment of how am I utilizing pornography? How am I utilizing masturbation? And how am, am I making a choice about ejaculation, choosing to ejaculate or not? So I always use the same example. An alcoholic doesn't really know they're an alcoholic until they stop drinking and then they can see it. They can see how it affected their body. They can see how it affected their cognition, their clarity, etc. So with all that said, I hopefully I've given you some food for thought as it regards to your pornography practice. Uh, so with all that said, thank you for watching this video.